What's up guys? So I'm gonna quickly just dive into how I apply a quick color grade inside of Adobe Premiere. We recently shot and edited, or you know, shot 10 futuristic music videos, all of which were like these tripod one takes. Um, but I get a lot of questions of how I color and how, yeah, just basically how I color grade. And so I just wanted to quickly show you how to apply a quick overall color grade to your footage, uh, to grade your footage, but I don't like to send out cuts or even rough cuts without color so they can kind of see the, the tone I'm going for um, in the final project. So I'm just gonna dive into that. Uh, first thing I do in Premiere is I lay out an adjustment layer. I click a uh, new adjustment layer down here and I add adjustment layer over the entire timeline video footage. In this, clip, uh, in this case, it's just one clip. Um, so here's the raw footage there from the red helium 8k and my adjustment layer. Uh, so the quick, the real quick two things that I do um, that I add for a quick grade, I come in here, Lumetri color, add that, and I'm going to come into the creative tab. I'm going to drop down the creative and I'm going to add uh, a LUT. Um, so here are some Tropicolor archival LUTs. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and drag on, let's say, an let's do archive 60 um, so the the number is the strength so this is 20 percent 40 percent 60 percent 80 percent 100 percent i'm choosing 60 uh, because this footage uh, is somewhat flat but it's not too too flat so i'm just going to kind of pick a middle ground 60 you can see there it might even be a little strong so i could walk off the intensity here um, under the creative tab and that's why i like to drop it in the creative but i'm actually just going to choose uh, 40 just drop it down a little bit more so that's good uh, it's at 40 percent I could walk it down even more like I said uh, but then in the basic corrections where I'm gonna kind of dial in some things uh, it's a little too saturated for my taste so uh, for this specific clip I'm just gonna come down here maybe drag the saturation to a 90 um, you know depending on the image that you want to go for uh, in this image we're just gonna, let's go for like a pretty flat look. So I'm gonna drop the contrast to negative 15, boost the shadows to maybe like a five. Highlights, let's flatten out those highlights so we'll come down to a negative 25. You just kind of tweak in all your, your settings and whatnot uh, in here in the basic correction just to get a general uh, sense of everything. Actually, because we're gonna flatten this out with level. So I'm bringing this back down to zero. Basic correction, good. In the creative tab, you could dial in a few more things, take down the vibrance, uh, shadows. We might drag that a little to the blue, ever so slightly. Highlights, complement those blues with a little bit more warmth in the yellows and oranges. Take that arrow down. Okay, that's good for a, a rough grade in that sense. And then the other thing that I do is levels. And I come in and I always use these levels. So black input, if I drag that way up, that's gonna you're gonna see it crush the blacks a lot. So I'll give it a second here to load. It's 8K footage on my old computer. Apologize for that. But then right here, this black output level is how we can get a really kind of flat faded, like that faded look. Um, so if you bump that up, we'll just take that to a 15. That'll add more of a fade overall. And uh, there you can see it's really really strong so we'll take that down but I just wanted to show you out of 15 you know that's how you kind of get that fade is in the levels taking that black output to a 15 we'll take it down to a 5 drop the gamma down I love to play with the levels and then lastly we'll come down here to black output down here this will actually change the blues within the shadows so if I bump this up a lot just so you guys can see it Sorry, my computer's a little, so there you go. It's a little delayed, older computer, but you can see the blues there. So we'll take that to a five, come back into Lumetri Color. I'm gonna warm it up a little bit more. Instead of the Creative tab, we'll come into the Color Wheels. I'm gonna drag the highlights to a little bit more in the warmth area, a little more yellow, orange. So we are affecting the highlights here. Mid-tones, shadows, shadows. We could play blue a little bit more. I'm actually gonna take this more into the highlights here, the warmth, get a little more warmth in the room. So now we can see a little bit more warmth there. Kind of got a faded look, a little flat, and that's just kind of the look I was going for. But that is how I'll do a quick grade inside of Premiere, Lumetri Color, 
levels. These are two really stylistic things that you can uh, dial in. You can come here to the color tab inside Premiere and, and dial it in with a, a better window over here on the side. I just happen to do that in the editing tab here under the effects controls. But if you dive into the color tab up here, you'll have it more at your disposal to dial in things over here. So yeah, that's a quick little faded kind of vintage look just really quickly offhand. So if I kind of toggle these on and off here, give it a second to load. So there it is on and off. On, off. So that is the way to do a quick color grade inside Premiere to you know export your footage, to just do a quick grade, uh, whether it's for a client or for yourself, to kind of look at the footage and get a vibe of what you're going for. Uh, it's just with Lumetri color, the levels, the color tab, just kind of playing with those different things. There's a lot more that goes into color grading than that, and a LUT should never be the end-all be-all. You should always use that as your base and then adjust as needed. should never be a just straight copy and paste. All right, guys, hopefully this video helped in some way. Uh, you know, that's all I have for you guys today. Just got a couple questions about that, so I wanted to break that down. Give you guys a quick video on that. All right. Uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Appreciate y'all for watching. I'm Jacob Owens for the Buff Nerds, and I'm out.